Hi, I'm Top of Popka Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. We're at 2006 Eagles Rest Drive, Apopka, Florida, 32712, obviously, in Eagles Rest Community, inside of the bigger community of Errol Estates, right here at the intersection of Lake Francis and Eagles Rest. If you're even thinking about buying a property out here in Errol Estates, call me. Obviously committed to the area, and I've been selling homes out here every day, full-time, day in, day out, for 30 years this year. So why we start at the beginning of the subdivision? Our house is coming up here on the left, and it's beautiful. But what you don't get, if you look at the best pictures online on Zillow.com, Realtor.com, Homes.com, .com.com, Trulia, And all over the internet, the very best pictures. How do I know? Because I am most likely the one who took and uploaded those pictures. So the purpose of this video is to give you a few if you are actually here in the neighborhood, what it looks like. Those looking the very best pictures. We're a good looking house here. 2006 Eagles Rest. Look at those trees. That's why people live here. Trees add tremendous value to the house, make it a lot cooler, which I'm very conscious of. Here in the 100 degree July heat. So what you want to know when you're thinking about homes are what's the neighborhood like. Imagine coming home from a long day at the office. And this is your view. One of the things people seldom verbalize, but it's important. People say, well, if I move my kids there, what kind of kids are my kids going to be playing with out here in the street? Well, the best way to know is to get a feel for the houses, go for how they're kept. I'm very shocked if any of these, or very, very, very few of these are rentals. These are all owner occupants. All keep their houses nice, committed to the neighborhood. The HOA is a very reasonable $245 a year. This doesn't get any cheaper than that. So it's the best having a house built in 1985. We have just enough of an HOA. So nobody's going to paint their house pink. But you don't have to pay a ton for it. Look at that house. That's the kind of neighborhood we're going to get. Popka used to be centrally located to nowhere before the expressway came in. Now, Popka connects to everywhere in central Florida really quickly. One of the reasons caused it to grow up so much. It's been here on garbage day. Probably less than 55 minutes from the beach. Probably 30 or 40 minutes to Disney World. And both of those places on the map are quite a ways away. So it's Thanksgiving afternoon. You've had your family over, see your house, come out for a walk. And they walk through the neighborhood and they see this and they say, you know what? They have arrived. In this price range, the size of these lots, the trees, neighborhood, quality of upkeep, press everybody you know. And that's what you're looking for, hopefully. It's the middle of July right now, it's really hot out. I did about a 20 minute video and something happened with the camera. It just deleted itself. So now I am sweating part two. Do the same video again. And on my commitment, to make sure when you come and see it to buy it, you know exactly what to expect. It seems so obvious that realtors would take a video, post it on YouTube, 
There's 16,657 realtors as of today. And if you went to 15,000 of them and said, have you ever posted a video of your child on YouTube? Most of them wouldn't even know how to do that. And that's the difference between realtors, for sure. If you're even thinking about buying out here in Apopka, in Errol Estates, I want you to call me. I've helped a couple of hundred people buy a place just like this. Give them real answers, real solutions. So happy. Leave me a five-star review online. Now this five-star home built in 1985. Four bedrooms on a stacked plan, which means all the bedrooms are on the same side. Nice big 80s rooms. Can't complain. It's not enough parking. Oh my goodness. Two car side entry garage. Which is exactly what people like. Got an easy care yard for sure. Just a little bit of grass is all. Look at that roof. Looks beautiful. Mushrooms and fairies are included. Got a nice big side yard, which is good because you don't have a backyard here. You got okay, got to be okay not wanting a pool. Look at that big L shaped porch. This area would fence really nice if you needed something for animals, children. That is the backyard right there. That's it. So again, the ultimate in easy care. You could fence right across there if you needed. It's the way that the porch faces anyway. Be just like the backyard, only on the side. Oh my God, does that look new? Does that look new? Is that still? My God, that must be new. It's got a sticker still on the still the plastic wrapping originally on it. You buy a house in the 80s, and you're like, well, what about the roof? Roof looks good. Well, what about the AC? Brand new. Ah, and you get all the trees, the brick, the things you could never get in a new home nowadays. So let's go in and check it out. Nice red door. Air conditioned finally, and... Welcome home. Look at that entry. Again, friends and family will walk in and say, these people got it together. That is a large dining room right there. Floor to ceiling, brick fireplace. You couldn't buy one of those if you wanted anymore. And the best, real oak wood floors the quality stuff the expensive stuff all the way through the house it is beautiful it's such a classic feel here we are in the center of the house nice under cabinet lighting of course plenty of room for a breakfast bar or to put a little table here for the family that's what I meant about the side yard. Would fence up and be super nice. If you did need the fence. We've got the laundry room here. That's linoleum. Right off the garage, plenty of space. Plantation shutters on almost every window. That is not a small thing for River Shop for instead of even one plantation shutters. In a nice big garage. How do we know oversized? Well, because there's the over and the size. Room for cabinets. Everything put in well. Still got the new AC stickers. We're back in the kitchen. 
Giving you a feel for the floor plan. Let's go out to this porch. Talk about extra living area. Lots of space. Extra space down here. That's glass that does open up. So be warm in the winter or open it up in the summer. That carpet's just laying down on top of that Chattahoochee. You could pull it up if you wanted for sure. And those rhododendrons give you a nice privacy from the neighbors for sure. Twenty-one ninety-nine square feet. That's twenty-two hundred square feet, about thirty-two hundred, including the slab. Nice and cool back here. Built in that '80s style. Everything feels so solid. Those nice baseboards. This is the master bedroom here. Again, just go start pricing plantation shutters installed. Start adding up what that would run you. Look at that floor. Got an interesting bath for sure. There you go. I don't think I've ever seen a tub like that. And then you've got this big shower, this little piece of glass, everything else wide open. That's pretty cool. That's the original 80s fixture. How do I know? I was raised in a house built in 1981, had the exact same one. Double sinks. Nice mirror. All the things that are important. As you can tell, the house is a little on the dark side. Some of it is plantation shutters do that. And remember, there's no furniture in here, so you would bring lots of your own lights in. These are not small rooms. This house was built in the 80s, back when every bedroom had room for a huge bed. This is bedroom number three. And again, you'd have room for a king bed and a chair and an end table and a dresser. Walls are immaculate. And then just the way this works with the window, this is the darkest room. Do you bring some lamps in here and make it cozy? You've got the very difficult to photograph and video bathroom. Double sinks, got a tub that looks like it's never been used, got your own little throne room in here. If you're thinking about this house here at 2006 Eagles Rest, or a house here in Eagles Rest, or at Errol Estates, I want you to call me, top REMAX realtor Scott Garrison with REMAX Town & Country. I have the inside scoop on houses sometimes that come on. Or anyone even gets a chance to see him, I can let you know about him. That's all for now. Call me.